hey, make a community in fellow 3D printing legends. Well, how did I go from this 1000 millimeter tall CR10 conversion to this? A 1000 millimeter wide CR10 conversion. Well, it's really a simple story. One day I saw an awesome 3D printer called the GMAX Big from GCreate. Gordon, Anna, and the team over at GCreate made a variant of their GMAX 1.5X Plus into a GMAX Big with an enormous build volume. Being the crazy builder that I am, I glanced at my Creality CR10 3D printer and the rest is history. In addition, you have to flash the control board inside the control box to obtain those new build dimension values. You will need a CR10 extension cable kit and as well as a Bowden extension because you're going to need a longer extension. So we start by framing our build. Once you like your frame and ratio, it's time to square everything off. I wanted this to be adjustable so I can swap different build plates depending on the print. As you can see here, I use the right side of the gantry to make the adjustable lengths. Next, we install our dual lee screws on left and the right, ensuring everything is level and straight. I then check the x-axis for binding. Sweet. I purchased an extension cable kit for the CR10 and proceeded to wire up all the wires to their perspective connections. I proceeded to ensure that all the cables were communicating with the perspective stepper motors and ensured that the flash Marlin was giving me the correct X, Y, and Z dimensions that I had inputted earlier. I also added a Noctua fan for the heat block just to quiet things down a little. I ordered a Capricorn tube from printersolid.com, a one meter in length. For the X end stop, I had to get a little creative and I adjusted the access for the new build volume. bed plate it was a bit tricky I had to find a suitable way to secure the bed surface to this 16 plate I settle on attaching the acrylic and glass surface to the 400 millimeter extrusions that originally came with the CR 10 by utilizing an industrial velcro adhesion from 3m On the final version of the bed plate, I added two CR10 aluminum heat beds across the aluminum extrusions that were in place. I proceeded by printing a calibration square to make sure I didn't have any part of the printer skewed. That came out well. I went on to print a Spider-Man bust 
which the filament snap due to a binding on the filament roll. I re-sliced the Spider-Man and printed the head and it came out perfectly. I also printed a Thrall from World of Warcraft and it came out amazingly well. I decided to use the entire build plate volume and print a race car driver as an inspiration to uh, a good friend of mine who races up by my area. And as you can see here, I just laid a sheet of glass over the two CR10 heat bed plates that are on the 400 millimeter extrusions. Overall, I'm very pleased with this build. Make sure you tune into my next build, the end of four, where I take it from a small build volume and extrude it up to a thousand millimeter as well. The end of four is by Creality 3D and it's a pretty good printer once you have everything tweaked. And as you can see here, the build came out very well. I'll have a detailed video coming out soon. Make sure to check the description for all the links to all the things you need to build the CR10 1000.